enough kitchenering, but at home. It's a little slice of home, but back home. That's it! I've come up with a new recipe. All right, and so today we're gonna be making a Canadian staple. You ever heard of poutine? Putting a little spin on it. After my adventures in the far north. Taste tested quite a bit um, at a few restaurants, a couple fast food joints, um, that sort of deal. I got a pretty good feel on what it is I need to, to make it, and it's not like it's very difficult, so let's go check out the ingredients. Awesome, so you'll see here we've got some cheese curd, we've got some brown gravy, we got an onion, some Canadian bacon, some potatoes for the fries, and some crimini mushrooms. So, Real quick, about the cheese curds, fun fact, and by fun I mean not so fun at all. We actually cannot get fresh cheese curds here in the United States. Sad to say, there's a whole food and uh, drug administration law about not selling cheese that's not aged 60 days minimum, and there is a limit to how authentic you can make it, unfortunately. But this is as close as we're gonna get, so we're gonna shoot for it. All right, so you'll see here I've got uh, one of our uh, russet potatoes. We're just gonna go ahead and get the peel. And. All right. And now that we've exercised our secret northern peeling techniques, we're gonna go ahead and put to use our secret northern cutting techniques. And here we go. Blink, and you'll miss it. Alright, and so uh, through the miracle of the secret techniques of the far north, we've gone ahead and uh, cut up our fries. Awesome. So next up, we've got some mushrooms for our, our brown mushroom gravy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a little work around. So first, we're going to cut open the package. So like any good southern Canadian, you know, us in the U.S. Uh, we're gonna make some brown mushroom gravy, as many, many folks up north are of the opinion that poutine gravy is just a little too sweet. And I'm inclined to uh, sort of disagree, but that's okay. Well, we'll go with what's been recommended to me by Friend Pira, which you should be able to check out in the kind of chronicle videos that you will also see on my channel. Alright, so we've got some mushrooms here, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of these. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this one a nice cut. So, we already know that you're probably gonna hit the skip button to see the finished product, so let's go ahead and save the trouble for you. Alright, and there we have it. Several thick cut mushrooms for our mushroom gravy. Alright, and with that, let's go ahead and move on to our uh, next vegetable. Alrighty, and we're back with the next vegetable. Uh, you can see here we've got a nice thick onion. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna chop this up, and while you guys hit the skip button, we're gonna tell a really sad story. Let's go check out my good friend Henshin Sunrise. Wait, what? All right, and that's some uh, good old make a leaf magic there. Incidentally, no maple syrup in this recipe. I know. But, um, yeah, some uh, freshly cut onions. My eyes are tearing up. It's an incredibly, incredibly sad story. I miss home. Alright, and so last here, we've got some Canadian bacon. 90%, or 97%, sorry, uh, lean. Not too fatty, actually. A little bit closer to what you might just refer to as, like, ham patties or... But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a cut, make them a little thinner so we can spread them out in the, the meat protein. A bit easier than these large round discs, and that way nobody feels left out. All right, so uh, we're gonna just go ahead and... Awesome, all right. And look at that, we got some uh, nice, beautiful flipping spreads there. Magic knife, thank you and to definitely just not rip off uh, another cooking channel. It's, uh, it's good enough to eat already. Hello friends, so thanks for tuning in to Kitchenering with Kaylin. I hope you have enjoyed yourself so far. Uh, about this point in the recordings, my audio kind of takes a bit of a nosedive. 
So what I've done is I've gone ahead and put the rest of it up on the screen. Hopefully you guys can enjoy uh, watching the rest of the footage. Uh, I'm just going to commentate a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully it helps out. Uh, so up first you can kind of see me dropping some oil into the pot. As you know, it's kind of a necessity to <laughs> frying just about anything. Can't get, can't get fries without that. Not at all. Yes, I said fries. Not crisps, not chips, fries. Right. And after that, so I am going to admit, I did use a powdered gravy. Uh, not particularly proud of that. However, I will be studying to learn how to make that on my own. Hopefully that can be maybe something I share with you all in the future. Uh, that said, uh, I've got that gravy going in the back. All right, and then you'll also see that I'm adding in some chopped onions. Uh, now, if you don't know, onions are one of my favorite things to add in pretty much anything I make. Well, at least within reason. I do find that they go really, really underappreciated so, so much. So. Uh, we've gone ahead and add some sauteed onions. We're also adding in the mushrooms, which is unfortunately absent from my footage. I don't really remember what happened. I want to say that that was about the time where my camera died and the food was cooking. Really, really need to do something about that. Maybe cook faster. That might help, actually. Right, so uh, there's also a segment here where I'm finally adding some fries to the, f to the oil and at least then we can start getting it kind of crispy. Uh, what I did was I did fry all of my potatoes and then bring it back for a double fry, trying to get it well. And then on the other side, uh, you'll notice that I just dropped an egg in there. I was really gunning for sort of a breakfast kind of thing. It was like the start of the day when I made this, or at least the start of the day for me. I know I wake up kind of late, maybe like noon or so. But I think, a, I think a night schedule will do that to you. All right, well, at least I have the finished product to show you all. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you do want to see more of my content, more episodes of Kitchenary with Kalen, please hit the like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever it is that you feel like you want to do. I mean, I get that it's kind of a, a small time thing, but you know, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when I put up more videos like this, more Kitchenering with Kaylin, more, uh, more Canuck Chronicle, maybe I make a stream video that doesn't suck, or I put up some other weird and wacky stuff. Definitely not Yu-Gi-Oh! Double A. No, never. I don't know where you'd heard for that. Uh, anywho, thanks all for tuning in. This is Resident Homo, signing off. See ya.